What's up lifelong learners, it's your boy Mr. Hang and today we're gonna be learning how to fade in and fade out audio using keyframe. And don't forget to watch these videos in sequence, okay? Because there is a playlist right there that you can click on. That way it's easier for you to learn step by step from me. Also, if you learned something new, don't forget to leave a thank you in the comments down below. So let's get into the video. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. Okay, so this is what we learned last class was keyframing to fade in and out or up and down video and superimposing. Now we're going to do the same with audio. So I'm going to teach you how to turn up and turn down volume. I'm going to teach you how to fade in and fade out audio, adding and using keyframes. And then I'm gonna show you how to delete and reset keyframes as a review. I have my stuff all set up right here. I already set up my timeline to have an example for you. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you that the music, when it's too loud, you have to bring it down because it's drowning out your voice. And a lot of students make this mistake of drowning out their voice. Here we go. Let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home. So if you listen carefully, you can hear the music drowning out my voice. So how do you bring down the music? Well, go to your uh, music, click on it, and then you are going to see this up and down arrow key when you move on the timeline. You see, see this line right here, okay? Once you have your cursor on the timeline, uh, on the audio, you can click and then drag down. So I'm bringing this down by 10 decibels. And when I play it back, you're gonna hear this thing sound a little bit better and mix with my voice a little bit better. So you do this to your liking. And let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. All right, so I still feel like the music is too loud, so I'm gonna bring it down some more to maybe about like 15 decibels. And let's listen to it one more time. And let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. All right, let's say I like it. And then I'm going to show you, I'm gonna do Command Z, Command Z here. Let's, so, uh, let's say you wanna fade up the music, okay? So I'm going to go to the end of this audio clip and I'm going to click on the inspector here. Make sure you click on the audio clip and then put a keyframe on the volume, okay? And then I'm going to move in time. <laughs> And then I'm going to put another keyframe. And then I'm gonna put, this is gonna be my fading up. And then I'm gonna put two more keyframes at the end. Put a keyframe there. And a keyframe here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click on this thing right here, this little icon, this wave icon, look like a sine wave. And then I'm going to drag this keyframe down to lower the volume and I'm going to drag this keyframe down, or you can jump to that keyframe and then drag the volume down like that. So you're gonna hear a fade up and fade down of the audio. Listen. And let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. All right, so that's fading up. It's pretty abrupt. I'm gonna show you how to make this sound better. <laughs> This is fading down, and it's gonna be pretty abrupt as well. Sure is nice to be home, my classroom. <laughs> like, let's say it's too loud for my voice. Listen to my voice. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right, so my voice is too loud. I can click on this and then drag it down to about, let's say 19 decibels or 20 decibels. And you can listen to my voice now with the music in the background. <laughs> I miss my classroom so much, you don't even know. Okay, so that was a better mix. So now what I wanna do is I want to make this sound better, the transition of bringing up the volume sound better. So what you do is you drag the playhead over the different keyframes and then you just choose whether you want it to be exponentially getting louder like that, which is kind of strange, and I'm not gonna do that and turn that off. Go back to linear, or I can click on this one right here, 
and that doesn't look good because I have two of these selected right now. So I'm going to click out of it. So I'm going to click this one only and I'm going to choose, let's say I want to fade up. Okay. So now I'm going to transition smoothly fading up, but it's also very abrupt because like it just kind of starts like right here to there. So listen to it. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. <laughs> I miss my classrooms. All right, so if I want to tra transition and fade up a lot quicker, I would click on this right here and I would drag it like that and make it a little bit quicker. Okay, see how this curve climbs up a little bit faster and then smoothens out right here. So if you listen to it from the beginning, let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. <laughs> All right, you can kind of hear the music coming up a little bit faster. Let's say if I really wanted to come up really fast, I would do that. No one would really do this unless you're going for a special sound effects kind of thing. I miss you guys and let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. Okay, so if I had this louder, it would come up a lot quicker like this. I'm sorry if it's too loud. <laughs> and let's get into the vlog. Here we go. It feels good to be home in my classroom. All right, so you can mess around with that and you can jump over here to this keyframe by clicking on the left and right arrow key right here on the keyframe or you can click the left and right arrow key on the keyframe right here and you can mess with the backside, the fading down just like this. So let's say I want to transition this to be more smoothly. I would put a fade down like this on this. You have to click on that to make sure it's red. And then instead of choosing linear, you're going to choose exponential decline. See, so now I'm going to be fading out smoothly and I can drag this, make it longer, click on this and I can drag that, do this. I can click on this one. And then I can also change that one as well to be something like this. So you can, you can do all kinds of interesting things and you can click and drag this around to smoothen it out. So you can see this is a, a gradual drop. Okay. So you can do all that. Now, what I want to do here is I want to delete the keyframe. I just hop over to the keyframe, make sure it's red, click on this icon or click on this icon and you'll delete the keyframe. So let's say I want to jump to the left keyframe right here, click on this or click on that and I'll delete the keyframe. And then if I want to remove all keyframes, click on reset and you reset all the keyframes. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Let's go back to Mr. Hang with the fancy camera and end this video. Okay, if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have a friend who wants to learn how to edit or you want to learn more stuff, leave it in the comments down below and share this video with your friend if they want to learn how to edit. And don't forget to do, yeah, do it that guy, the guy holding the sign. Don't forget to do that. Make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to know what type of equipment I use in my office here, Links are in the descriptions down below. Anything you purchase through those links, they're Amazon affiliate links. They help me maintain and, and improve my classroom. Okay, without further ado, I just want to say goodbye. So get your hands ready. If you're returning, you know what's up. If you're new, just follow along. Here we go. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.